So once the uh, design phase is finished, I'm tasked with taking the design and taking the story that our strategists and the designer have created and trying to convey that through um, the logo lockup that I have in front of me. It's then my job to be able to take that logo lockup and convey that same story that we've been doing through the brand through motion design. And so the first step to that is really kicking off with some storyboarding. And I'm gonna be showing you how to do that very simply um, and almost in a sketch type style. So how we're gonna be approaching this motion design process is really through um, concentrating on three components of the brand logo lockup that we have here. Um, so the first component is going to be really choosing that guiding object, almost the main character for your animation you can think of it as, and then really diving into the brand and the brand story and what the brand actually does and picking out a brand element that you want to convey as a second component, and then your third component being that final logo lockup and how you're gonna make this thing full circle and get to that. The first thing that you kinda wanna do is look at the logo lockup that you have and see kind of what it's made out of. So the Fathom logo lockup has a lot of hard edges, so to really create that contrast is really important in motion design. Um, wanna create something, wanna use something that's a little bit softer for that conductor, for that guiding object throughout this motion design process. So something like a circle will work really well because it's easy to add characteristics to and also keyframes to once we get into the animating process. We're gonna start our storyboards and it's important to remember when you're starting your storyboards that it doesn't need to be perfect at all, but you wanna have a sense of the composition and your frame that you're gonna be using in After Effects. Um, and for the circle, since it is just gonna be starting with the circle, um, you can kind of almost give yourself rough animations um, to understand that the circle is gonna be in the middle of the frame, but then also add some arrows to understand the movement that is going to be happening, whether that's for yourself or for the client. Um, especially when you go to deliver uh, this, you wanna be able to have something that you can talk about. So being able to literally direct the motion with this arrow, be like it's gonna start from the bottom, be a little bit smaller, and then kind of direct up to get to the full size of that guiding object. Um, since the Fathom deals a lot with charts, I know that I want the brand element to be some type of chart. So we can pick a bar graph. Um, and so right below this, we're just going to draw another 16 by nine uh, rectangle here and kind of work roughly again to kind of understand how I can uh, you know, use this circle and kind of understanding where that bar graph would kind of land. Um, since I want to kind of stick with the center composition, I'm going to kind of have a structure of the bottom here to kind of give the bar graph something to kind of lean on, something to stand on, um, and kind of adding color throughout your, uh, or adding blocks of color throughout your storyboards is something good for you. Um, and kind of just roughly draw a bar graph, maybe in varying heights here, and maybe kind of keep it to where you know, we have some elevation. And so if I wanna be able to take this circle and if I wanna compositionally place that within this brand element scene, um, I think that it will look really nice to be able to have it kind of almost weighted up here at the top, maybe a little bit smaller than we have it in the first scene, kind of like understanding the motion that could possibly happen throughout here to where it's kind of like a swo swooshing motion um, is something to keep in mind when you're going through your storyboards. All right, and so now we're gonna move on to the third component. And so that third component is the final logo lockup. And so once again, just roughly draw a nice beautiful rectangle here and be able to kind of visualize where you want that compositionally within the rectangle. And I kind of want it to be a little bit smaller, but being able to have, you know, and kind of almost visually tracing uh, the mark here, having this rectangle. And I think it's important to have some of the elements kind of structurally um, sound within your storyboards. But then when it comes out to like the logo type, Sometimes that can be really nitty gritty for the uh, storyboards. So just to be able to have it to where it's just a block. So you know that that's where the logo type will be able to stand. And then one just adding uh, a little bit of like filling this in. And this could be it for you or this could be for the client to be able to, you know, help them visually understand uh, the composition and what you're working through. All right. And so now once you have your three components kind of laid out within a storyboard form, rough storyboard form, um, you got have to figure out how you're gonna get from one component to the next. Um, and so now I know that I have this circle, but I need this circle to somehow initiate this bar graph that I've drawn, this, this brand element. And so I know that I want the circle, once it's kind of in the middle of the frame over here, I kind of want it to swoop down almost and kind of hit the bottom of this mark um, or the bottom of this graph and kind of start that, uh, that initiation process. So I'm actually gonna have this ball kind of being up here, but kind of swooping down. And as it swoops down, this bar graph down here is gonna start with that foundation element kind of building out. And so you can kind of see how I'm drawing the arrows to kind of show the motion as I'm talking through it, because this is exactly how I'll talk through it with 
um, the designer or the client that I'm working with. Um, and so you can even kind of get a little bit more detailed and kind of show that the bar graphs are going to be starting from the bottom and kind of they're going to be growing um, to the top here and kind of just doing that really roughly. Um, and then also showing kind of where that ball will be and kind of maybe it'll get a little bit smaller as it kind of comes around, but showing that that continuous motion is going to happen all the way through. And that'll be a transitional element into this frame. And so now kind of going from here and how do we get from here, this component to the final logo lockup. So once again, I'm just gonna draw our rectangle. Rectangles are getting better as I do them. Um, and so I know that I have the ball up here but now, I, and the graph has been kind of built out, but now I need to collapse the graph and get to this. So I know that I want to utilize, maybe utilizing a different brand color, which we can maybe use that teal, um, and kind of having that teal be that transitional element. So if we have the ball kind of being up here and kind of drawing that slightly, and we have our foundation element once again down here, I'm kind of just trying to do it really sketch like, we have all this happening. Um, and so now I know that I want this ball, since it's been up here, I want it to maybe swoop down and come back around. Um, and as it comes back around, it almost does the reverse effect of what we did in the last transitional element. Comes back around, collapses all of the bar graphs. Um, and as it collapses the bar graphs, maybe we have a, another shape that kind of comes up from the bottom. Um, so using a pen here, you gotta kind of get creative. Uh, so we have this shape coming up from the bottom and you can kind of use you know, stripe lines to reference that that's gonna be a new shape coming up and kind of giving that shape its own arrow and kind of understanding that this circle is gonna come up and around and collapse those uh, shapes. And as that new teal object comes up from the bottom, it'll start to build out this, uh, this mark that we have here. And so now for the third transition, I know that I already had this transition lead into the final logo lockup, but now I need to get from the logo lockup back to our guiding object, our conductor. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to once again, roughly kind of draw maybe a little bit more compact uh, mark as if it's collapsing on itself to get back into that circle. Um, and then maybe that logo type bar is actually sliding behind the mark and the mark is sliding over the logo type to kind of once again, collapse everything. And so. I'm gonna go ahead and fill that stuff in and that's just to create that visual consistency um, to really help you sell your idea. And then also this is a great place to add some simple arrows just for yourself or for somebody else to really understand um, you know, what motion you're working with and how that's all going to happen. Uh, and there you go. So now we're gonna be able to get back to this guiding object. All right, so now once you have your full storyboard out, you can kind of look and see what you've created and see if everything makes sense and to really kind of understand and just reiterate for yourself too. Um, repetition is key. And so kind of understanding that we have our circle, which is providing that contrast to the more hard edged logo to lock up that we have. Um, and that is really gonna be the guiding object for this entire animation. And so kind of going from the circle to building out this brand element, this graph, and kind of showing that this circular motion of it coming around, the graph finally being built, and kind of having that brand, uh, that guiding object kind of rest up at the top there a little bit, show the brand element for a split second, and then having that uh, brand element collapse, which we have here going on, which it comes back down, and having that brand element once it collapsed to really be able to build out the brand logo type um, and really understand that we just told a really good story about the brand, and then getting from the brand logo type, the logo lockup, to the uh, starting object where it's gonna have we're gonna do a simple collapse um, with some ease on it to really get back to that circle. So the goal of the storyboard and what to really remember is that it's giving you your guide. It's helping you really dive into After Effects and have a starting point rather than diving into After Effects and having a question mark of what to even start to create. One thing that I wanna take away from this class is that this is a class that can be used as a stepping stone to really be able to get the fundamentals of motion design and really learn how to convey emotion, characteristics, um, momentum, all throughout a branding experience. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our latest videos.